the choice. I choose the impossible. The idea for Bioshock came from um, a bunch of places. I mean, the, the, we had a, there's two components, sort of like, what is the game you want to make, and then what are the thematic and narrative elements? The story wasn't there at the beginning. We always, it was always like a Robinson Crusoe story. It was always a castaway story. One of our goals was in Bioshock is always that the narrative and the gameplay elements would, would, that would have unity. I had read The Fountainhead by Ayn Rand, and I enjoyed it. It certainly made an interesting impression on me. Her heroes never, they have no flaws, and they, and, and, and they can't make mistakes because they're her heroes, and she wants them to succeed. And so the goal was, at the beginning, is like, what, let's take these, these notions of, these philosophical notions, and put them in a world where things can go off track, potentially. I built a city where the artist would not fear the censor, where the great would not be constrained by the small, where the scientist would not be bound by petty morality. I chose to build rapture. The voice of Andrew Ryan our version of Ayn Rand started coming to my head and I started thinking about this world and my wife and I were in um, Rockefeller Center once and we were trying to, struggling with the visual aesthetic and I was just in Rockefeller Center and we just looked around and we're like, oh boy. It's just untouched in game, the whole Art Deco aesthetic. And I'm like, what if you just made this world like Rockefeller Center underwater? And so all, all those ideas came together and there just seemed a really interesting visual space and it, it expressed Ryan's ideology so well, that visual. I love that we are sort of struggling to figure it out. You know, we're, every day we're trying to figure out something different, so, you know, whether it's technology or how we present story or how we have interaction, what platforms we're on. Like it's just evolving so quickly and I love that because it, it keeps you it keeps you nimble. It keeps you, you know, you constantly if you're not nimble, you are you're, you're you're dead. Because it changes too quickly. It just changes all the time. So I I hope that, it, that doesn't um, calcify. Because I like that. Uh -huh.